I'm trying to think. Oh, guess what? Glasses off. Transition over. It's time for DSP News because we got two news stories that I want to talk about today before we get to shout outs and other segments of the show. All right. Two news stories. Our first news story of the day is regarding the PlayStation 5 Pro. Yes, there are rumors all over the internet, not confirmed yet by Sony, that they are making an actual PlayStation 5 Pro console. And, of course, the speculation is wild and rampant about what it's going to be, when it's coming out. So here's, in general, here's what's being said. Keep in mind, all of this is just speculation. None of this is confirmed at all. So it could all be complete hogwash that people are making up, okay? PlayStation 5 Pro will have 8K resolution support. You know, the massive demand by consumers for 8K resolution. Let me tell you, I have been waiting for this for so long. You know, for that giant screen that I have on the side of my building outside. I mean, my entire wall of my house, a projection screen. And I wanted to see 8K, and I'm just so upset that they don't have 8K resolution in video gaming yet. So I'm so happy that that's what they're going to have on PS5. Whatever. Three times more powerful than PS5 and Xbox Series X. Because again, let me tell you, my number one concern is the power of the console. Let me. All the games look so terrible today. They're like, you know, like pixelated stick figures moving around. What we need is more power to keep these games moving. 45% faster. Oh, man. The worst thing about the current level of generation of consoles is the loading times. I totally hate that when I boot up Baldur's Gate 3 that I have to wait like a half a second between loading screens. I mean, that's awful. Oh, you know what else I could be doing during that half a second? I could be picking my nose. I could be wiping my ass. I could be shaving my ass hairs. But instead, I got to wait half a second and waste that time. If they could get it down to like one microsecond of loading, then that would truly be revolutionary, right? <laughs> Let's continue. Four times ray tracing, as opposed to the three times ray tracing that we have now that we all hate. I mean, nothing worse than booting up a new game and seeing the lighting and saying, my God, only three times ray tracing? We got to have four. This is terrible. I hate these graphics, right? New AI, super resolution upscaling tech. Oh, so if a game doesn't have full 8K resolution built into it, you'll have AI to upscale it. Because let me tell you, right now in its current state, AI is absolutely foolproof in everything that it does and could never, ever screw anything up. We all know from Google Gemini and all this stuff, oh, it's perfect. I can't wait to get AI involved in my game renderings. I'm just so excited for that. A stable FPS performance at 4K. A stable FPS performance at 4K. Wait a minute. I actually want that one. That's actually... I'm going to stop being sarcastic for a second here. All right? That's actually good. That's actually seriously good because my number one complaint... The, the reason I'm being so facetious and sarcastic about these stats that they're coming out with with PS5 Pro, that is a supposed PS5 Pro, we have no idea, okay? <clears throat> it's pretty simple. Right now, current-gen consoles can't even play games at 1080p resolution at a smooth 60 frames per second, right? Like, case in point, Dragon's Dogma 2 is about to come out on Friday, and it is locked at 30 frames. Why? Because they can't get it to run at 60. So, let me again, let me reiterate. You can't get games to run at 60 frames per second on a resolution that's been the industry standard for a decade. So now you're going to push, oh, 8K resolution, four times ray tracing. No, 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 no. Shut the fuck up. Nobody cares about you pushing graphics further. You haven't mastered what you've already done. You know what I'm saying? This is like saying <clears throat> we invented a new car that can easily drive 200 miles per hour smoothly. All right? But by the way, the car we just made that drives 150 miles per hour, the wheels just keep falling off of it. But we already, but we made a 200 miles per hour car now well your previous model doesn't work things always have problems they always fucking wheels keep coming off who cares about that we're gonna go 200 miles per hour now what are you fucking stupid you have to perfect the technology that you have now first 
before you then want to push the technology further. You haven't mastered what you have yet. It, it, again, here's the funny part about all of this, right? Just because Sony is intending, perhaps, because it's a rumor, to put all of this into this new PS5 Pro, there is absolutely no evidence whatsoever out there that game developers will use any of it or know how to use any of it. They can't use what's in the current PS5 to make a smooth game. So why in the holy hell would you really think that they're going to be able to do this with a console with more power? It doesn't make sense. They're not utilizing the power that's existing there now. They don't know how. They haven't optimized it, right? So if anything, stop pushing hardware and start working with game devs to make your games better, right? I think that's the real problem here is that the game devs are having a hard time. They haven't figured out how to harness the power of what's even there in the current gen hardware. So why the fuck do we need another upgrade? It just doesn't make sense to me at all, right? Like, oh, my car already, I don't know how to get it to drive properly, but let's make a car that's more powerful. But your current car doesn't drive yet. Why do you want a more powerful car? Are you stupid? And the funny part about it is, yeah, a lot of people online are really fucking stupid. They're all reporting this information. First of all, I love that they report it as, as fact. Oh, this is coming. It's coming later this year. It's going to be here by holiday 2024. No one said anything about that yet. Sony hasn't confirmed it. There's no confirmed information. It's just a, a leak, and it could be completely fabricated. So everyone reporting it as fact is a disingenuous piece of shit who shouldn't even be putting any information on the internet. They should be shut off from their social media. <laughs> Locked out immediately, and then you can never post again because you're an asshole. Okay? But as for those who are, like, rejoicing about it, why? Like, just because it, maybe it's a slow news day, and you don't have anything to talk about, and all of a sudden, now you have rumors to report on. So rejoice for you because you're going to get some clickbait today, right? But for anyone else who's in the industry, gamers, we're probably, why do we care? They, these game devs are not utilizing the hardware that's there. You can't, 1080p 60 frames is very fucking reachable for both the Xbox Series game, uh, consoles and the PS5. There is no excuse besides lack of talent that these game devs cannot hit that mark. And they're not doing it. They're not hitting that mark. So now you're telling me there's going to be more hardware. Why do I care? They're not using the current hardware. The capability is there. It's squandered. Now you're going to make us pay more money for more hardware that will literally sit there and be squandered and not used. You don't need that, right? You just don't need it. I just, I don't get it. Why are people freaking out? Why would Sony want to make this, first of all? I don't know what 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 benefit is this to Sony to sell a bunch of other consoles that no one's going to fucking utilize the stuff in and you know what game developer is screaming at Sony saying man your console's too weak we want to make better games but your console's just too weak man I none of that has happened you know none who the fuck has an 8k television Right now, in the industry, does anyone have an 8K television and they want to play an 8K? What the fuck are you talking about? This is not common stuff. This is stupid. And, you know, I understand that maybe it's a time frame. Every console gen, it kind of does this. First, you had the Xbox 360. Then you had the Slim. Then you had the, the better version. You had the original PS3. Then you had the Slim. Then you had the next one. PS4, PS4 Slim, PS4 Pro. I, okay, so maybe Xbox One. Xbox One S, Xbox One X, stupidest name I've ever heard. Um, so maybe what it is is now they've all just got so into this pattern of game release or console release, certain amount of time passes, streamlined version of the console, certain amount of time passes, pro version of the console, certain amount of time passes, right? Maybe. And they're just so in that, they, they just want to stick to that. Even if the industry and the, and the market doesn't demand it nor want it, they're just going to stick with that anyway. I don't know how that makes any fucking sense, but apparently that's the case. Like, here's the thing. If this is true and a PS5 Pro comes out holiday 2024, I'm in no rush to get one. Why do I need one? Are any games that I'm playing going to run significantly better on the PS5 Pro? No, I don't. I don't need 8K support. I don't need something that's three times more powerful than the current consoles because the current consoles don't run the current gen graphics correctly. I don't need it to load 45% faster. It's fast enough. I don't need four times ray tracing in the lighting. 
You, it, literally everything you're saying, there's nothing. Now what you're saying, stable FPS performance at 4K. If the game dev does that, again, this is what they don't understand is if the game dev can implement that, you'll get it. It doesn't mean that they're going to do that. And if they're not doing it for 1080p, what the fuck makes you think they're going to do it for 4K resolution? This makes no sense whatsoever. There's no justification for any of these improvements at all. There's no demand for it. There's no need for it in the market. So it makes me scratch my fucking head. Really? It makes me scratch my head. Um, I don't know. You tell me. But, hey, you know what'll happen. You got these early adopters who are going to want to run out and buy it. Go for it. I get. If anything, this is really good news for those of you who do not have a PS5 yet. Because undoubtedly what'll happen is if this is true, and this comes out around holiday season, this will become the must-have console. And if you don't have a PS5, the base PS5 will drop in price. Right now, it's what, still 500 or 450? It'll probably go down to like 300. That's a huge thing. And by the way, it'll probably be readily available everywhere now, you know, because no one's going to want it. Everyone's going to want the Pro. So that's good news to you, I guess. Um, but I don't know. For, for normal people, like, I, I can't imagine what the fuck you want this for unless you're just one of those people that you absolutely have to have the newest thing right away. You're one of those techie elitist demanders i must have the new mobile device i must have the new console i must have the new graphics card i just must have it as soon as it comes out despite the fact there's no use for it good for you i guess uh but for me i just don't see the point now i'm sure we're going to get more information about this as we get further towards uh the release of this console but for me i just don't see the reality of it and again this is someone who i, I mid mid-range ps4 I kind of said, I don't get it. And then when PS4 Pro came out, you actually saw that a lot of games did actually run better on it. And I was like, okay, well, I guess I was wrong. So maybe I'll be wrong here, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing dropping. Because the other thing people are saying is for the specs that this PS5 Pro supposedly will have, it's got to cost at least $600, if not more, which is pricing yourself out of like console range. Consoles traditionally now are around four or $500. You're saying six, 700, you're out of the console price range. So what are they going to do? How are they going to bring it to a price that's marketable, right? I don't know. Okay.